What's that? No eating. You say peach. Peach. Monkey baby monkey bananas, baby monkey bananas. Turn around. Is that by the sea? <laughs> Is that by the sea? I don't know. Oh boy. It's a. What's the song that you're trying to say? <laughs> We went to the. It's, called, it's the uh, readaptation center. Um, what she went to the readaptation. Uh, okay, for, so for kids with special needs who have either uh, intellectual or physical um, issues, delays, whatever it is they have. Uh, there's a wide range. I don't know if there's any other kid with uh, D. George in there. But uh, they have this group, it's called Stepping Stones. They take kids from two to four, like Micah, and help them um, to be more independent, to, to progress at their own speed, but also be ready up to date by the time they go into kindergarten or daycare or whatever it is they, yeah, they yeah. go to. And uh, they would like uh, teach them how, uh, potty training, how to dress himself, how to play, uh, socialize with others. They have a, a, a lunchroom, uh, a, an adapted uh, washroom, so there's full uh, wheelchair access, even a changing table. And there is a gym, a sensory room, like full on sensory room with the lights dimmed, the low music, the mattresses all over the floor. Uh, slide, uh, the the hammock, I mean, it's... Yeah, it's just... They feels... had a big school, plus they had a park outside to go play. Yeah. Uh, the problem is... It's very far for us. I can't see myself, the buttons are... Oh, there we go. It's very far for us. There is no uh, public transport that goes there. I'd have to get off at the closest train station and then walk about like 15, 20 minutes with my guts. So that means in the way Three times a week. Yeah, three times a week, twice. So because it's like half days from 9:30 to 12, and I can't stay, I have to go drop him off, come back, and then go pick him up again at 12, and come. You know, um, it's a bit complicated. And because he also have F, he has F eyes, uh, he cannot touch any other food. Uh, he cannot be contaminated by anything that's around. So it's a little bit more. And then with the uh, uh, autoimmune neutropenia. And he's still pretty low. Uh, he's still considered uh, at risk of catching anything. That means every time something happens, if he has a fever or whatever it is, an infection, straight to the ER we go. Yeah, and so, so I, we, don't know. We, I don't know how it would be. We tried that with Sam with the daycare a long time ago. And, uh, yeah, but Sam didn't yeah. have these issues, you know? Uh, no, I know, but uh, just. Oh, the, 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 yeah, yeah, the distance. Thing, we yeah, we tried yeah. with Sam a long time ago, uh, so the you. distance and everything. Sam had. Just Sam had um, uh, lactose intolerance at that point. So is he. And um, yeah, so it was easily avoided, you know. I feel with the distance with Sam at, and daycare, uh, it was like an hour and a half there, and then she would come back by bus, and then uh, the. Afterwards, she would just get home, finally get comfortable, and she, she'd be like, yes, I could do some stuff around the house, or like, do stuff, you know? And, and like, my, my own time, she would get a call from the daycare. Oh, he's throwing up. Uh, that, uh, come back, come get him, he can't be here. And she was like, really? And so, it was like that so constantly, and then we found that he was, uh, reacting to the to the milk so it kind of caught us off guard uh like for sending him to daycare and then we've been stuck at, with the kids at home ever since because of the yeah, food allergies and a lot of places don't Everything's understand intense. well i mean right right after we stopped sending him to the daycare um he 
he tripped over his own foot uh, playing outside, uh, broke his elbow, needed surgery, and I think that major trauma triggered uh, something in his body and he ended up having uh, celiac disease and then, you know, it just went downhill from there. And then we added one uh, intolerance or allergy one after the other to that. So like corn, soy, blah, blah, you know, it was non-stop. Yeah, exactly. So it was... Uh... And then Eli's, he, he, from birth, he was worse and then it was just impossible for us to send him to daycare. Yeah, that's why they've been home. Uh, but Eli's been doing great at school. He had his first day, full first day today. First day? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Sam's doing great, of course. It's just kind of uh, a bummer that Micah won't be able to go to the school. I wish they had the program closer. Yeah. That would be nice. You know, so. if they could socialize and get some kind of therapy, but like during playtime, you know, they had a full playroom with tons of toys, they had the train tracks, they had they some musical it. instruments, they had like music time, they had, they had science time, it was, it looked so fun. Yeah. Anyway guys, that's it uh, for today, it's more like an update kind of vlog, and that's it, so thank you guys for watching.